Call Center. What? Call Center. Right. The Grateful Red. Grateful Red, right? <laughs> May we have our tickets, please? Thank you. <laughs> this February, five-year-old Max Bass made his first trip to the Cole Center. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cole Center. His presence behind the Wisconsin bench is testament to the strength of a young boy locked in a battle against an insidious disease, a battle that has forged a bond between Max and his favorite badger. I wish I had a little brother, and to me, like, Max is that little brother, like, he looks up to me, he makes me more focused because I know he's watching and I don't want to fail him in any way. On the night of March 10th, 2005, at this hospital in Rockville, Maryland, Jamie and Adam Bass heard four words that all parents fear. Your son has cancer. Max, two and a half years old at the time, was diagnosed with leukemia. School okay? Yeah. For the past three years, he's made regular visits to the hospital, undergoing debilitating chemotherapy treatments. I will never forget the time that I'm holding my son on my lap and they're digging and poking and, you know, my, I, he's probably three at this point in time, maybe four, and he looks at me and says, Dad, please make them stop. And as a parent, you can't because they're trying to save his life. When he's not undergoing treatment, Max loves playing basketball in his kid ball league and working on developing his skills. He was able to do everything, but he was really having trouble shooting. You know, he's genetically just smaller than other kids. And then the treatments and the medications really robbed him of some muscle strength. When jerseys were handed out, Max was given number 22. A few weeks later, Max was watching a Badgers game on television with his father, a Wisconsin alum, when he made an interesting connection. He noticed that Michael Flowers, uh, number 22, hey, Dad, he's got the same jersey number that I do. I watched a game. I saw his number was 22, too. So that's how I become the white gang him. Fortunately, Michael is, if anything, he's a hustle player. I mean, he's all hard all the time. And I said to him, you know, if you do that, if you work that hard, you'll make a basket. Michael! Inspired by Michael, Max spent much of the following week in his basement, practicing his shot on this basket. When he next took to the court, Max was a different player. He couldn't have scripted it any better because he made everything he threw up. I mean, he just, every time he shot the ball, it went in. I like practice a lot, but it became really good, and more shots went in. It was a week, and I don't have any idea what changed. But ever since then, he has just identified with Michael as his favorite player. Adam decided to share his son's story with other Badger fans by posting it on a Wisconsin basketball message board. His post eventually found its way to Michael. Somebody contacted me saying that they had read something uh, on the message board that uh, his father, Adam, uh, posted. I guess I did it because it, just, it, it was great to share it with a community of Wisconsin fans. I was stunned a little bit and amazed that somebody way out on the East Coast of DC area could be affected by not just a player, but myself. So that was a little bit um, breathtaking. After reading Max's story online, Michael invited the Bass family to travel to Austin, Texas to see the Badgers face the ninth ranked Longhorns in late December. Well, first we like flew on an airplane two times. We got a car to borrow. The drive to, I think, Austin. The night before the game, someone special paid a surprise visit to Max. I looked at Max and said, Max, who's that? And his eyes just were enormous. And Michael Flowers, he's so tall. That was the first time I've ever been starstruck. It was this uh, person, five years old, that you know has you know motivated me and inspired me, and I just was in a loss of words. I felt like a little kid, and I felt like he was he was my hero, and and I looked up to him more than he looked up to me. It was my best day of my life. Then I think I gave him my jersey. 
He gave me this cute green and white kid ball jersey of his, number 22. It was, uh, the, the, it was probably the best gift I ever received. It was a token gesture, but I told Max it would be a nice thing to do, and it might bring Michael some luck. The next day, with Max's jersey in Michael's locker, the Bass family watched as the Badgers trailed the Longhorns by two points with 11.3 seconds left in the game. And now on the road, if they choose to, Wisconsin can wind up going for a win. During the timeout, we initially started talking, and I, you know, I said to, I said to my wife, I said, Michael's going to hit the winning shot. He said Michael's going to win the game. He leaned over. He said Michael's going to win the game for us. They need to get it to Flowers. Let him bring it up. Defended by Abrams. Got to get something going toward the basket. Screen by Bush. Five seconds left. Flowers for three. Wisconsin takes the lead. What a play by Flowers to the end. Flowers stole it, threw it as high up in the air as he could. Michael made the three-pointer, made the winning shot, sold the ball, and then got it, and then we like, checked it up in the air. And the Badgers have won here in Austin. I was jumping up and down, screaming. It was nonsense, just screaming in sheer excitement and joy. And I remember tears just flowing down my face. What a win by Wisconsin and what a play by Michael Flowers. I was standing because I'm his hero and I came through and I saved the day for Wisconsin. And so as soon as I, I made the shot, you know, that's what I thought of. And how about the heads up play? After you make a great shot, not just dancing around, he went and made a game winning play. I, I honestly believe, you know, God wrote that script. After the dramatic win, Max and his family went down to the Badgers locker room to see Michael. He, he hugged Max and, and again, the tears are rolling down my face and, and Max looks at me and goes, Dad, you have water in your eyes. Max looked at him and he was like, Daddy, you have water coming out of your eyes. That was to me better than, than the shot. Max, I remember him saying to me, wow, my jersey's really brought Michael good luck. I mean, he really believes in that moment and that, what happened and it's been great. I told Max, He's good luck and that I was going to bring his jersey to, to every game I'll play from here on out. On this afternoon in Madison, Michael scored 11 points to ensure that Max's first trip to the Kohl Center was a victorious one, further strengthening this unlikely bond between a courageous young boy and an unselfish young man. This is one of those stories that, you know, you never forget. I'm going to have the honor to tell my children and hopefully they'll tell their children about it. And it's just something to be very proud of.